What is good everyone and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be working on a was it a G35 or a G37? Can't tell my differences between this car. So this is one of my friend's car. Uh, this is his Instagram right here. So we're going to be installing coilovers for him and we're working on the rears right now because we're going to start from the rear to the front and I already put anti-seize on the threads and one side has already been installed as you can see. Uh, so right now it just needs uh, the uh, collars need to be tightened and the only issue I'm coming across is this bolt will not want to go in like it would turn and what it wants to tighten but it comes loose again so that's one issue I'm gonna solve but I'm gonna save that afterwards and talk out onto the other side so it's actually a pretty simple job this is why I love working on rear wheel drive cars uh, I haven't worked on an all-wheel drive yet so I wouldn't know how the suspension components work but compared to a fr uh, front wheel drive and rear wheel drive major difference so this is a multi-link suspension so we got two bolts on the top one right there and one back there if you guys could see that shiny part and then we're gonna come down here and loosen this bolt and then we're gonna loosen this bolt to release this spring bucket and then once the spring bucket is loosened because we have to loosen that bolt too in order to gain access to pull this out and then we got this strut to come out and then most likely the end link we might have to if you guys can see the end link we might have to release as well. So when it comes to the top bolts, these bolts are 12 millimeter, and this is a 17, and this is also a 17. So for the top one, I'm gonna be using an extension with probably a neck joint in order to gain access because I know this thing is gonna be in the way for sure. But we're gonna break these loose. So the goal is to break everything loose first, and we take one bolt out one by one before we release to go to the top one. Finally, the spring is out. This is actually pretty easy. That was the most easiest part. So we just need to remove this bolt and then the sweet end link because it is attached to the control arm, if you guys can see. And then we can get access to this. Alrighty, so everything's all installed properly, um, adjusted and everything like that, make sure there's no dent or in no indentations or anything like that, but everything's all secured and then you know on this side, everything's all secured. Now I'm super excited to put on the wheel to see how the right height looks and everything's all bolted down, tightened, and here's the final part. Okay, so coming to the front, the front is more complicated than the rear. So um, we're gonna have to disconnect this upper control arm. Uh, so I'm positive this uh, these are 14s because I did it on the other side. And then we're gonna have to disconnect the ABS line. It's pretty simple. And then the brake lines to the strut right here. So this should be a, either a 12 or 14 millimeter. And then coming down here, so we're gonna have to disconnect the sway end link because um, this basically holds the strut in place into into the control arm, and then we gotta disconnect this bolt right here, so which I already did, and and then you can just hammer out on this side. So once, so start off with the sway bar first right here, because um, this is actually the most important thing in order to lower this uh, whole entire arm, and then you can gain access to the strut. So this is like very identical to the Lexus um, ISs or any rear wheel drive, I'm positive. Cause we got another bolt right here and then a bolt right here and then a bolt right here. And then drop it, simple enough, put it back, do the reverse. Alrighty, so everything is all pretty much wrapped up. And the new Culver's doesn't come with a bracket for the brake line or the ABS. 
ABS line. So what I did was I just wrapped the zip ties around it so it won't dangle. So that's like pretty much the original height it was from. So I just need to cut off this tab and then we're all pretty much set. And then I just need to finish up that side. I'll lock up any other bolts um, or tighten every loose bolts that it, there is right now. Lock up the collars and then we should be set to go. And this car should be ready to be dropped and see how the ride height looks. Um, the rear definitely needs to be raised. Uh, I think it's sitting too low. Uh, I'm not sure if he's able to get out of my driveway, but let's see how it goes. Alrighty, so the car is finally done. I adjusted the ride height in the rear. I raised it up 10 millim no, 20 millimeters up. Uh, I think the front has dropped about, I don't know how many inches, but yeah, that should cover up the, what was it? A uh, wheel gap and this one's like tucking tire. So it's kind of evenly balanced. So it's not like this anymore. It's like this. So you guys can see, but yeah, dude, this thing looks good now. So I'm gonna take this on the test drive and uh, you know, fix up any kinks or anything like that. Um, regardless of the test drive always gonna be needed after this and then uh, an alignment. So yeah, so far this looks good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helps you guys install um, a set of coilovers on a G37. I'm not sure if this applies to a coupe, but yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, pretty time consuming, so just make sure you guys take your time on it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and peace out.